build projects, then leak code. But if you have experience, just grind leak code and system design. You can end the video right now. Breaking into software is rough. Applying to jobs can feel like screaming into a void, but fundamentally, if you have no experience, projects and open source contributions are the closest thing to shipping real software. Projects help fill your resume with relevant content and teach you a depth of knowledge. Remember, your projects don't have to be original. They can be a clone of a popular website or game. I recommend having at least three unit-tested projects that anyone can access. Maybe a web app on AWS or Vercel, or a mobile app on the Android App Store. Anywhere someone can see and use your project. Grinding leak code really is in a project, and you can always incorporate algorithms into your projects, but you can't do it the other way around. In many countries, they don't actually ask leak code style questions, and could ask you to do a take home assignment, or ask you questions regarding a framework or technology, in which case projects are a clear win. That being said, leak code is important. There's a reason all the top companies use it to filter candidates, and that's because it tests one of the core components of computer science, algorithms and data structures. My personal roadmap was to learn Python for its easy syntax then learn algorithms and data structures. There are so many awesome free resources online. Grinding leak code efficiently is also a well-documented journey. I highly recommend checking out Neat Code 150 and Blind75. Projects or work experience get you to the door, but fundamentally in many cases, leak code gets you through the door. Thank you for your time. I am Big Box.